Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news from Shirok TV. Our main headlines tonight are... Riyadh hosts Friends of Sudan Conference urges stability and unity in Sudan. Hamdok gives directives for strengthening security presence in the Red Sea State. Sudanese Professionals Association rejects Trade Unions Act issued by the Ministry of Labor. Saudi Arabia on Wednesday stressed the importance of stability in Sudan and the unity of the country. In remarks made at Friends of Sudan meeting hosted by the Kingdom, Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan said peace in the country is directly related to development. Prince Faisal also said the Kingdom appreciates the U.S. efforts to remove Sudan from a list of states sponsoring terrorism. Prince Faisal said that Saudi Arabia will exert all efforts possible to enable Sudan to resume its rightful place at the forefront of the Arab world and as a productive member of the African region and international community. Transitional Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok gave directives for strengthening security by sending Central Reserve troops to the Red Sea State following the recent incidents in the state that killed a number of citizens. Dr. Hamdok, in a statement issued today, directed the authorities concerned to set up a committee including the Defense and Security Council to address the political crisis in Kassala to present its recommendations tomorrow Thursday, besides working out a concept for the political crisis in eastern Sudan. He assured the decision taken by the governor of the Red Sea State, which declared a comprehensive curfew in Port Sudan State. The City Sudanese Professionals Association, SPA, announced its total rejection to the draft bill of the Trade Unions Act issued by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development. The SPA, in a statement issued today, warned the government of the revolution to pass the law, adding that passing of such act will open the door for the confusion and turmoil of the trade union building process. The planning team of the UNITAMS currently on a visit to the country get acquainted with the efforts being exerted by the Disarmament, Demobilization and Reintegration Commission, the DDR. The delegation, which met today Wednesday, the DDR Commissioner, Major General Abdurrahman Abdul Hamid, explained its mission in Sudan during the coming period. The UNITAMS delegation briefed on the DDR role towards the different demobilized of the regular forces. A joint workshop organized by the government of Sudan and the UNAMID on the protection of civilians and the transfer of the civilians' protection to the Sudan will be held in Salam Rotana Hotel during next Thursday and Friday. The workshop will be addressed by the Cabinet of First Minister Ambassador Omar Manis, Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Attaraif Idris and the UNAMID Chief. A number of action papers prepared by the concerned ministries and institutions will be reviewed. The court trying the member of the defunct regime, Haq Adal Manan, announced that it will be held today, Wednesday, August the 12th, 2020, after the prosecution submitted a request to interrogate a number of witnesses who were not interrogated due to the corona pandemic and for the announcement of the second investigator who was absent due to health conditions. The next session is scheduled for next Wednesday, August the 19th, 2020. Minister of Endowment and Religious Affairs Nasruddin Mufarrah Ahmed received on Wednesday the delegation of the Islamic Council for South Sudan led by Sheikh Abdullah Amin. The minister during the meeting affirmed his ministry's full cooperation with the council to develop the endowment and transfer the Sudanese experience in this connection, besides training the South Sudanese caterers in Dawa. He called for the reactivation of the joint cooperation agreement signed by the two sides. The Sudanese Federal Health Minister, Sarah Abdul Azim, confirmed that the number of COVID-19 cases increasing in Shemalia and the Red Sea states, adding that prevention of the increasing of cases are most priority in her ministry policy. The minister delivered a speech at launching national campaign for encouraging health behavior to protect from COVID-19, stressed on importance of encouraging the good behavior of health protection. And now we remind you with the headlines. Riyadh hosts Friends of Sudan Conference and urges stability and unity in Sudan. Hamdok gives directives for a strengthening security presence in Red Sea State. 
Sydney's Professionals Association rejects Trade Unions Act issued by the Ministry of Labour. That was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you next week.